Hello everyone, and welcome to the penultimate part of my 11 part series on the fastest checkmates in chess history. If you haven't watched parts 1 through 9 yet, you gotta watch those first because the games are in a certain order and the narrative will just make more sense if you watch them in order. The links are in the description. Game 90, Van Kessel vs. Renson, Correspondence 1990. Um, so we have f4, d5, uh, h3, e5. So it's almost the same as the one we just saw, except now white's third move is g4. Um, oops. Which loses instantly. Um, black plays queen h4 mate. Um, an interesting uh, subset of the bird system is a variation called Fromm's Gambit, which accounts for 10 of the 13 bird system games in this series. Fromm's Gambit is a very dangerous move by black, uh, but one which has had a surprising amount of success in catching white off guard. It's like rat poison. It looks very enticing, you're tempted to just gobble it all up, and then you soon realize, but not soon enough, that you've just brought about your own demise. Game 91, Anonymous versus Frederick Rhine, Online Blitz, play.chessbase.com, June 9, 2021. Um, so we have the bird system, black plays e5, which is, yeah, from Gambit. Um, and then we have f5, f5, where is that? Oh, here it is. That's not a good move to play at all, actually. So, white's doing very badly already on the second move. Um, black plays d5. Attacking the f5 uh, pawn with the bishop. Okay. Um, so, white defends with g4. Which is... Yeah, three mistakes in a row, really. Uh, and black plays queen h4 mate. Um... Frederick Rhine uh, frequently comments on chessgames.com using the username FSR. Uh, so now we look at game 92. Louis DeVos versus Raymond Keane, uh, Bogner Regis, England, 1963. Um, so White's uh, second move is uh, F kills E5, so that's uh, from Gambit accepted. And then we have D6. <clears throat> Maybe it didn't go. There we go. D six. Um, white plays e kills d six, and then we have bishop f five. <sighs> D kills c7. Um, white would seem to be winning here, but it's actually not going to go that way. Um, queen kills c7. Knight c3. Bishop d6. Knight b5, uh oh, see this is where white makes a mistake, and black has a mate in 2, bishop g3 check, h kills g3 is forced, and then queen kills g3 is mate. Um, this was a blitz game, uh, with very strict time controls. In such games, it is common for players to make careless mistakes. Of course, Carlson plays blitz all the time, and he never makes mistakes like this. But we can't all be Carlson. Um, game 93 is a game that came up twice in the database. Um, first as Peter Pantelidakis versus Frederick Rhine, Chicago, USA, 1974. And also Mogasar versus Terry Lee Tripp, St. Louis, USA, 1984. Um, 
So the difference is on Black's second move. Um, let's see. He's got uh, from Gambit accepted, and then Black plays d6. Is that right? Oh, oh, he did. Um, he did d6 anyway. Yeah. Sorry. The the, the difference was a little bit further. Um, d6. He kills d6. Black plays bishop, kills d6, and uh, at this point, I would suggest you pause the video and see if you can find how Black can mate in three moves if white plays b3 after uh, bishop kills d6. I think you've had enough time. I uh, hope you came up with the correct answer. Uh, queen h4 check. g3 is forced. Queen kills g3 check. H kills g3 is forced, and then bishop kills g3 is mate. Um, next game is game 94. Why must I lose to this Bogues? Um, obviously not his real name. Um, Peter Svidler, if you don't know who Peter Svidler is, uh, he was an eight-time Russian champion and a five-time contender for the World Championship. Uh, he played an online blitz game against... Why must I lose to this Bogues, whose uh, profile picture is a picture of Paul Morphy, um, but he sure doesn't play like Paul Morphy, no sir. Um, this was on chess24.com, and the game was played on July 30th, 2020. Um, so we have uh, a from Gambit, except it again, same, same opening as before. Um, except that on White's third move, um, it was, uh, sorry, uh, White's fourth move. White played e4. Uh, why must I lose to this Bogues? Moved very quickly here, perhaps even pre-moved. Um, and then we have queen h4 check. Uh, black is uh, very winning here. Uh, g3. And now black has mate in 5. Um, bishop kills g3 check. h kills g3. Uh, queen kills g3 check. King e2 is forced. Bishop g4 check. Um, and white resigned at this point. Um, had he continued, you know, we would have seen knight f3. Queen kills f3 check. King e1 is forced, and then queen g3 is mate. Um, now, what if white had played king e2 instead of g3? Um, let's backtrack here. King e2. It doesn't seem to be a forced mate at this point. Um, but then we have queen kills e4 check. King f2. Uh, king f2 being forced. And then uh, bishop c5 check. And then um, d4 would be the move that black, uh, or sorry, that white would have to play. Bishop kills d4 check. Uh, and then, of course, queen kills d4 is practically forced. Um, Then queen kills d4 check, and then king e1, probably. But you get the idea that um, that white is just in terrible shape uh, in this position. 
<clears throat> I found the video where Peter Spidler played this game. Uh, see, so he was a five-time contender for the World Championship, having lost once to Alexander Kalifman, once to Ruslan Ponomaryov, once to Veselin Topolov, and twice to uh, Vishwanath Nanand. At the moment he won the game, he stated that he felt bad. But he was laughing, smiling, clearly enjoying himself. What a liar. I wish I always felt that bad. Game 95. Anonymous versus Dumont, 1802. Okay, so it starts off the same three moves. Um, Uh, White's fourth move is G3. G3, that's this one. Okay. And then we have uh, Queen G5. Knight F3. Uh-oh. That's a mistake. Now black has a mate in two. Queen kills G3. Check. Um, bishop kills g3 is also possible, it doesn't matter which. h kills g3, uh, bishop kills g3, mate. Um, and then we have game 96. Greenwald versus Bill Wall, Dayton, USA, 1983. Um, so, the same opening moves. And white's fourth move is knight c3, which is already a mistake because now it gives black a mate in three. Um, queen h4 check. g3 is forced. Uh, bishop kills g3 check. Uh, queen kills g3 also works. Um, h kills g3. Uh, queen kills g3 mate. So, these, these last two games that you saw, one of them, um, he moved a queen first and then a bishop, and then the other one, he moved a bishop first and then a queen. Uh, both are equally good. Uh, sometimes people like to argue about which one of them is more badass, but it really makes no difference at all. They're both exactly equal. Um, the next game is... Uh, this is interesting. This is one that came up a whole lot of different times in the database. Game 97. Um, it came up five times. The first is uh, Harms versus G.J. Mentink, Camp in the Netherlands, August 1956. And then Barney versus McCrum, Dayton, USA, 1969. And then Peter Nepechnik versus Frederick Ryan. Gompers Park Fall Championship, Chicago, USA, 1977. SR Sharp vs. DSL Lenton, Correspondence, 1990. And Mile Dragicevic vs. Rene Grala, Blitz Casual, Serbian Cultural Center, Hamburg, Germany, December 8, 2005. Um, so, with all that said, uh, it is the same three uh, starting moves. Um, White's fourth move is uh, knight f3. Okay. That's a bit more normal than what we saw before, isn't it? Uh, and then black plays g5, um, which is the Lasker variation. Which is a little bit dangerous, because white didn't see the next thing coming. Uh, he played h3, which is instant death, and black played bishop g3 mate. Um, h3 was bad because it took protection away from the g3 square, and white just didn't think about that. So, And it's such a common mistake. We saw five times that exact same mistake was made and every time black did bishop g3 mate um so now game 98 rusty warren versus bill wall north carolina 1975 um so it's it's again the same uh, opening moves um the same 
actually uh, Knight f3 uh, and this time black moves h5 h5 okay um, not the best move there were a few better options uh, white goes g3 and then we have h4 Knight kills h4. Uh-oh, that's a mistake. Uh, black is totally winning now. Rook kills h4. Not worried about losing his rook. He's got bigger fish to fry. Um, g kills h4 is actually instant death for white because now black can do queen kills h4 mate. Um, and that was the whole point of that. Um, so now that queen comes in and there's nothing white can do. It's, it's game over. Um, some have suggested that the move order may have been recorded wrong on the score sheet as h5 on black's fourth turn doesn't make much sense in this case. But since I can't prove it, I'm presenting the game as recorded. So next is game 99, John Bodfarsen versus Frederick Olafsson, Iceland, 1947. Um, so it's a uh, familiar opening, of course. We've seen uh, knight f3 and black goes knight c6. Um, and then white plays h3, which is a mistake, because now black mates in one with bishop g3 mate. So uh, the same mistake we saw before with those other games. Um, you're almost there. Only one video left to watch. Um, and as always, the link is in the description. Uh, thank you for watching.